Just Bobby Deskins is with me now, and of course, we are keeping an eye on the tropics, Claudette. Yeah, Claudette, well, not yet. Not yet, but I mean. Tomorrow afternoon, we're thinking, hours? yeah, probably okay. 24 hours. But we're going to have to see, this is a very broad area of low pressure. It's not very organized now, and it's moving closer to land. So there's a look at it now, the big picture. The L that you see there is where the Hurricane Center has the center, but that's the low-level center. Look at all this moisture, and if you notice, it's a big envelope of moisture kind of wrapping around. It really needs to consolidate. There are going to be some little surface spins that are actually moving off towards the west, but the overall is going to be moving off towards the north. I do still think that most of this rain will avoid us. I think a couple of showers will be coming by, but if you look down here towards the center, there's just nothing there. You can't call that a depression or a tropical storm and issue warnings because you think tropical storm conditions are going to happen. So they have what's called the potential tropical cyclone. That allows them to issue warnings. There are tropical storm warnings basically from the western end, well, Cameron, Louisiana, all the way over to the uh, border of Alabama and Florida. The timing would be tomorrow night into Saturday morning. If you have friends or family that are in this area, they need to prepare. Be prepared for a weak system, more of a heavy rainmaker than anything else, but have those preps done by tomorrow afternoon early because weather will go downhill during the day tomorrow. You can see it does move off to the north and the east. Rainmaker all along into the east of this especially. Heavy rainfall up into the mountains. There's going to be some pretty good flooding there. Next name on the list is Claudette. If it gets to 40 mile per hour winds, 39 or higher tomorrow, like it's forecast, that'll be the next name on the list. Here's a big picture at the model. Notice how a lot of the, the rain just skirts us. It stays just offshore. As this develops, it'll actually pull the rain in around the center, and that'll dry that particular rain out. Watch that as we go through tomorrow afternoon and evening. There it is, the center here by the time you get towards 6 a.m. on Saturday morning. So heavy rain near the center and to the east, and then watch these areas that train over the same location. That's going to be the issue with flooding. You just don't see much for us, though. Now, forecast model GFS shows 6 to 10 inches of rainfall in some of these areas, and you can see it extending up in towards Atlanta, northern Alabama, northern Georgia, eastern Tennessee as well, too. So, yeah, something to watch for them. For 